people in these parts. And first feature of the night on Bradco Supply Company night is underway. Nap Auto Parts Sports with charging into turns one and two. Daryl Hilkert leads the charge off the corner. Randy McCulloch to the inside of Kane Bristol as they battle for second here on the opening lap. Hilkert powers down into three and four by coming up to his outside. Here comes Justin Henderson in that number 18H. Justin's looking for the race lead going into turns one and two, and he'll have it coming off that top lane. And the race is on for fifth as Shagir gets to the inside of the Adam Hilton 3A coming off turn number four. Right behind them is Wiesner and Carl Comfort as we complete lap number seven of the 25 lap distance. Justin Henderson has his first win of the season in the Napa Auto Parts Sportsman. McCulloch finishes second, third goes to Wiesner, Paul Guerreri four, Shagir fifth. Looks like six spot goes to Hilton, the Iceman Steve Gray takes seventh, Carl Comfort in for eighth, Justin Wright ninth, and Greg Cool sneaks in for the number 10 spot as the checkers fall. Now, it was a pretty quick race with only a couple of cautions, and under Green Man, you were legging out by about two seconds at one point. Uh, this car is great. Um, you know, I drove it twice last year and won in the second time. I don't know if I'm going to give this one back. I might have to keep it. On the opening lap, we're already side by side for the lead, and there's pieces, parts flying up on the racetrack as they come down off turn four at the end of lap number one. Steinreich has the lead by a whiska as they head through turns one and two. As they power down here through turn three, four up, Guerrero's car goes up the racetrack. That could be opportunity for Mark Menudolo to go to second. A little contact on the front stretch. Both cars straighten out, no problem, no harm, no foul. Your leader Steinreich in turn number three, and he is going to cut and wrap it up. Coming off turn number four is Brad Steiner comes under the double checkers. Winner of tonight's Klein Steel Retail Pure Stock feature. Mark Menudolo is your runner-up. CJ Guerreri will hold off Mike Menudolo for the third position. And Lavare number six comes home with a top five finish. He's a happy camper down here in Victory Lane. He's up on the roof, everybody. Your Klein Steel Retail Pure Stock winner tonight, Brad Steinruck in the O2. I talk about a dominating race car. Man, this thing was hooked. Yeah, it was hooked up. It was really hooked up. I worked on it during the week and uh, changed some shocks around. And it's stuck. Beautiful track. You got to tell Jeremy, it's a great track. Oh, man, I want to thank, first of all and foremost, my wife and kids are not here tonight. <laughs> they seem to get my first win. Uh, I want to thank Big Mike's Auto, uh, Mike Minutlo, stuck with me for a long time, you know. Uh, Marky, uh, all the guys, man. Jeremy for uh, having us here, and my wife, kids, everybody, man. This, these are, this, uh, sponsors on this car are not mine. I bought this car, I already had the lettering, I don't want to wreck it, so. <laughs> so I kept it the way it was. And I want to thank uh, G was Rears and Gears, too. CP Performance Racing Engine, so thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. His first win in the Klein Steel Retail Pure Stocks. Brad Steinruck comes away with a checkered flag here tonight. And trouble already here at the start for Derek Pasiadlo, the outside pole sitter. And here comes Superman up on the cushion, but Rusher will outdrag him coming off turn four. But Shepard goes around him on the front chute, and Superman is back up at the head of the class here at Canandaigua. Great four car tango through turn number two for second, third, fourth, and fifth. All behind race leader Matt Shepard, who has checked out on the field. Bellinger tried to sneak his nose to the inside of Danny Johnson. Danny up the racetrack. Here comes Bellinger for second in turn two. Bellinger drag races the doctor. He shuts him down going into turn three. Shepard on his way to his fourth win of the season in five starts here at Canandaigua Motorsports Park. The race continuing for second between Johnson and Bellinger. And Superman is back on top of the heap here at the Land of Legends. Johnson off turn four, Bellinger off the inside will hold off the doctor. Payne finishes fourth, and for the 
fifth consecutive race. Justin Harris comes away with a top five finish. This time, it's a fifth. This car was something else tonight. Uh, right from the drop of the green, it just seemed like I could put it anywhere. Uh, really stuck good to the bottom of the racetrack tonight. Yeah, the last couple of times we've seen you in victory lane, there, there's been a uh, well-worn, used and abused right rear. And tonight, that, that sucker looks like it could go again. Yeah, I'll probably run it again next week. A little more full fender frenzy ready to come at you now as they come off turn four and the green flag in the air. And Fisher takes it down into turns one and two at the early advantage. Faulkner though on the outside, man, he is quick and he's actually gonna take the lead going down the back stretch. Jack Terrell goes to the outside of Fisher in a battle for second. Peckham thinks about making it three wide and does make it three wide now as they come down through turns three and four. Stack them three deep as they come down the front stretch. Now back to side by side. Behind race leader Faulkner at the end of lap number one. And now they're back into that three wide formation. And Burnell's going to take his turn to come squeak in through the middle. As they come off turn number four, Fisher has a little contact with the Marston 28. Heckham comes up alongside Faulkner. And off turn number four, we've got us a new leader. And it's Nate Peckham in the number 90 car. Welch is still in contention, and here he comes. He's going to go inside in turn number three, side by side, coming down for the checkered flag. Welch trying to get in there, tags Peckham, but Peckham drives away to get the win. Heck of a race there between you and Mr. Welch, man. Yeah, he's always a good runner here. I don't know what I was thinking. I went to the bottom. I knew the top was faster, but I uh, went to the bottom. The top, I think God, someone dropped something on the, hood, or on the track, so I needed that. Uh, who do you want to thank tonight, Nate? Uh, Industrial Service of Rochester to help me out and uh, Auto Value, Seneca Falls. And we'll look to go green coming down off turn number four. Green flag waves, new legend sportsman features underway. Ellsworth leads him down into turns one and two. Wagner works to his outside in a good four car battle up at the front of the field. Wagner will take the lead going down the back stretch. Matt Carreri, two time winner in this class, fighting alongside Lloyd. Now he's way up the racetrack in turn number three. We all have the with a nice slide job move there on the north of number 62 as those two battle toe to toe. And here comes Matt Carreri. Wow, look at the bike. Carreri got in the all contact with Ellsworth. Ellsworth in the wall in turn two. Rides the concrete, and that car, well, he's trying to limp it down the backstretch, but I tell you what, that car took a hit. Double checkers will be waving off turn number four, and it's the second win for Casey Wagner in our New Legends Sportsman Division. Lloyd's your runner-up. Third spot is going to go to DeMaley, followed by Guerrero and Northrop. Congratulations to you, sir. Welcome back. Thank you. Appreciate it. I tell you, a rough couple of weeks there for you in the interim between races, but tonight went about as uh, went about as smoothly as I think you could expect. Yeah, the track shaped up a bunch for the feature heat race. It was kind of single line, so couldn't really do too much passing wise. Just hold your line and you know do what you can. I got a little loose towards the end, but then you know settled down.